Y'all come on in, my kings and queens, my beautiful royal angels, my gorgeous gorgeous butterflies. Y'all come on in, babies. Y'all already know what time it is, baby. Sip Sage Manifest with Diamond Stone. Y'all come on in, honey. It is marvelous. Manifest of Monday, baby. And let's start this week off right. Do you hear me? Come on in and say hello. Y'all already know what to do. Hit that like and the share button and run that stream up. Run this stream up. Y'all miss me. I miss y'all too, but I had to take a break, honey. I, I was busy, baby. And ooh, hunter. Hey, queen. How you doing, my sister Lisa? Hey, baby. Thanks for joining. Come on in. Make sure you hit that like button and that share button for me. And run that stream up, baby. I tell y'all, this marvelous manifesting Monday, baby. How are you doing today? I hope everybody enjoyed their weekend. Y'all, I spent my weekend working, working hard, honey. When I tell y'all, every inch of my body was aching. Honey, it was aching. Do you hear me? Sunday went a little bit smoother. But the hard part is over. But guess what? I'm expecting great things. Finally caught your life. You better know it, baby. It's Marvelous Monday. Y'all, let me see them thumbs up and them hearts going up the side. Run them reactions up for me. Yes, honey. Let me tell y'all. I am so excited. Um, I'm just so excited about all the things that I was, is about to happen. And it, it's been a process, but it is happening. Slowly but surely. Good morning, Brunel. How you doing? Y'all, I've made some phone calls. I've talked to some people. Y'all send them reactions up because we be trying to knock me off. Make sure we still rolling this in, in, in everything. Or do I need to start this over? I'm going to hold my thumbs up. Baby. Let me see them, y'all. It's okay. Okay, we still rolling because people like to cut down. I don't know why they don't just check to see if you live first when they go interrupting your combo. You understand what I'm saying? It's too early for that. But y'all, I, 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 y'all, it's, ooh, I'm excited. I am so excited. Everything is falling in place. I am ready for my new assignment, my new journey. All of the things that await me. I hope y'all are too. I'm trying to tell you, I tell you, change is difficult, y'all. But it's necessary. You know, Ugh, don't get so comfortable because God be wanting to elevate you and move you up, honey. And you be like, oh, here we go. I don't want to do this. Well, guess what? You're going to be excited about it. I'm very excited about it. So I'm going to enjoy all of this week because, baby, next week, honey, it'll it be time to make the donuts. Okay, thank you, Brene. It'll be time to make the donuts. And then we going in from there. We going in. When I tell y'all we going in, so I'm going to enjoy these last little couple of days. Okay. Because next week, it's all in. It's all in. But I am so grateful and I'm so thankful for everything that God has been doing for me, y'all. I'm talking about when I make one step, God make a hundred steps. And you got to make that step too. You Faith without works is dead. You can believe whatever you want to believe. But if you don't put some put an effort into what it is that you want and what it is that you're looking for, why do you expect God to do anything for you too? You got to show him that you really want it. So you make the first step and he going to do the rest. Thank you for sharing, Brunel. I pre definitely appreciate it. Y'all, when I tell y'all so many other obstacles tried to get in my way, but honey, I was pushing them things to the side, like, uh, get back and get out of my way. And, and just, you know, like, mm -mm, we're not doing this. I get somebody else to do it. You know, the negative energy that was trying to come towards me, just people just would just low vibrations. I just was not doing it, y'all. I just could not. Um, I ain't even seen my grandbaby, y'all, in about three, four weeks. I ain't stressing over that either. I'm moving forward and doing what I gotta do. And honey, I'm excited. Y'all need to be excited too. Y'all don't know what's about to happen, but who, baby, it's about to go down. Look at God. I told you when I replayed one of your lies about your car that God has something better for you. It was a 
come back for me. You sure did, Lisa and Chad, when I tell you. Who? When I tell you the floodgates and open up around her. Everything that I've been asking God for, he has been definitely delivering. It's like, it's like I was going through a little storm, not a big one, but a change and a little storm. But when I tell you, God has came in like the whirlwind. <laughs> and it seems like everything is back to normal, better than it was before. When God says he restore everything that the enemy tried to take away from you and tried to steal from you, y'all better believe it. God will come restore that and then some. And, and you will have it better than what you had before. Because I tell you. You, it is people around that will pray for your downfall, that will pray for you to just, just crumble. But I'm not one to crumble, and you can't touch me no more than what God would allow you to touch me. And see, that little stumbling block that this enemy be trying to put in my way, God turn it around and make it a blessing and make it my footstool, baby. I use it as a stepping stone. I use it as a foundation to build my, build my castles, okay? Lisa said, God never comes when we want it. He's on time, God. You better know it. And I'm telling y'all, and I, I, I'm to my people, and, and, and I be sitting back and laughing, like, okay, yeah, you thought this was going to happen. You prayed for this to happen. But God said, no, nah, let me show you what I'm going to do right. And baby, hey, good morning, Marcus. When I tell you, God will come and bless you right in front of their face. Don't block them. You can block them on the phone. You ain't got to talk to them. Block that. But oh, over here on this social media, whatever, don't block them. Let them see how God is blessing you right in front of their face. Okay? Don't block it. Let them see. Let them see your happiness. Let them see your rise and your elevation. Good morning, Ida. Come on in, baby. Let them see it. Don't block them. Let them see it. Hmm. Let them see what they thought, what they was praying for. It wasn't going to happen. Let me tell you something. When you walk in obedience, when you walk in your purpose, and when you walk in your calling, you ain't got to do nothing else. God got the rest. He didn't tell you that you had to be perfect and do everything perfect. He want what's in your heart, what's in your spirit to be pure. Because he know we're not perfect because he didn't make us perfect. We are not supposed to be. Because if we didn't make any mistakes, how could he use us? How could we be an example? We couldn't be if everything was just peachy clean and everybody perfect and everybody doing what they're supposed to do and nobody going through nothing. How can he how could we be an example? That he exists and that he is real and that he can do all things. That he can change anything. He can change the outcome. Oh, hallelujah. He can change the outcome. I'm telling you, God is good. Just tell him, I dare y'all to tell God what you want and watch him deliver it. That way, that part, and definitely in that order. I dare you to go to God with your needs and tell him what you need him to do for you. Baby, he will stand in the gap, Okay. I know if he's still in the gap for me, he'll stand in the gap for you. I know if he give me extensions, he'll give them to you. I know if he give me grace, he'll give it to you. I know if he give me mercy, he'll give, give it to you. I know if he overflow me with abundance of favor, he'll give it to you. I know that he, them doors that has been closed, I know that he will take them off the hinges so they'll be wide open just for you. If he do it for me, I know he'll do it for you. Because guess what? Me and you, we out of eye. I ain't no better or no lesser. We equal. A lot of people want to try to be more than others. And they think things make them more or make them more privileged than you or they feel that they are entitled. That's a lie. Y'all know how many people got things and they still unhappy. They got all the wealth in the world, but they still ain't got the real thing. They still ain't got what they've been searching for all their life, and it's true love. And true love comes from God. Real love comes from God. 
that's about the truest, realest love you're going to ever get in your life besides your kids, your children. And even they be going and acting like they ain't got good sense sometimes. But God's love is unchanging. No matter what we do and how many mistakes that we make, he forgives us over and over and over again because he loves us. He said they'll get it right. And when you do, you are definitely rewarded. Y'all, I'm so excited. <laughs> Y'all better speak those things into existence. Speak it as if it was already so. Speak it and stand on it. God's word does not come back void. And he do not lie. I dare you to speak some things that you want to change in your life and the things that you want to happen in your life. I dare you to speak change over yourself and wait on it and believe and trust. Watch God work and move for you. Hmm. He's been too good to me for me to just not talk about it. I got to talk about it. Y'all, when I tell y'all I've been getting favor on top of favor. Favor been coming from places I didn't even know it was going to come from. And see, when God be speaking to you and talking to you, be obedient. See, a lot of times we'll hear God's word and we'll hear God talking to us. But we don't do what he tell us to do and you'll miss out on your blessing. Because you wasn't being obedient and you didn't listen to listen to God's word and what he had to say to you. He was giving you instructions. He was giving you guidance. Pay attention. Don't get so caught up in everything that's around you or the chaos and the confusion that's around you that's trying to distract you and keep you from moving forward. Don't do that. I see you, cousin Samaria. Come on up in here now, honey. Come on up in here, my cousin. I love you, honey. Yes. My Eric asked me, um, Papa asked me, um, was I going to take my uh, shower curtain in? Um, my shower curtain said with me, I said, yeah. I said, baby, my cousin about that, don't play with me. Period. That way that part in that order, he <laughs> get back to. <laughs> yes. So, just Pay attention. Don't get don't get distracted. When everything seems like it's just going haywire, hey, wow, that's when you really need to focus. Cause it's gonna happen you. You better speak it at your mouth. I I I declare decree right now. Just speak it in. I'm on a Zoom call. Okay, boo boo. Call me when you get off your Zoom call, look. Um, God, I need you to do this for me. God, I need this right now. And I'm going to tell y'all something. This is how you know when you got favor. This is how you know that everything is going to work out in your favor. When there are some things that you need God to really, really do. And you need that grace from him. And he gives you a miracle. And you're just like, hmm. I didn't expect that to happen. When he opened up a door that you didn't expect to be opened up. And he grants you an extension on certain things. Pay attention. <laughs> hey, Sheila. Pay attention. Then he do something else. God is not going to remove things out of your way or grant you certain extensions or do certain things for you if it's not in your favor. <laughs> That's right, Samir. You better know, girl. I love my shower curtain said. Hey, Angela, come on in, baby. So that's when you know. Y'all, let me tell y'all something. See, I have been keeping it a secret, but I'm going on to tell y'all. Remember, I told y'all I had something to tell y'all. I said, but I can't tell y'all right now. Remember when I told y'all that? See, God does things on his timing and not on ours. Okay. First and foremost, I want to thank Facebook middle for acting like they got some sense and coming back on around and doing things the way they supposed to be doing it because baby, <laughs> baby, 
When I tell y'all, I, 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 I was like, ooh, I remember these days. Because, baby, they was acting real funky with me, honey. It was ugly. So, y'all know I always tell y'all, good morning, Valerie, baby. Good morning. I always tell y'all at least have y'all more than one stream of income. And my goal before Kayla was even born was to have four, at least at least four streams of income. Four working streams of income. Okay? And I was on my way to that, but then something kind of slacked up on that. Okay? But I, I, I got them in place, so now I put them back into place. So now I got to make sure every area working. So when one stream or two streams of income slack up, because it's a season for everything. Good morning, Yolanda. And, and it slack up. You need them other sources of income working for you to generate the money that you need. And when you get it, be grateful for what you got. Don't be greedy. Be grateful for what God has blessed you with because some people wish that they can get that. Some people wish they can get a quarter of what you're making. Good morning, Yolanda. It's the truth, y'all. So I was like, you know what? Mm -mm. I'm not going to be in the hole around here. I got to do what I got to do because I need my store up and running. There's a lot of other things that I need to do. I'm a very independent person, and I like what I like. When I want to go shopping, I want to go shopping. I ain't got time to be waiting on nobody, and I like my bank account to look a certain way, y'all. And if it ain't looking a certain kind of way, I go to feel it some type of way. If I ain't got a certain amount in my savings, I feel some type of way. If I ain't got a certain amount in the regular part of the account, I feel some type of way. We ain't doing that, okay? So, y'all... The Holy Spirit said, I have been applying for different jobs. Some of them calling, and I, I, I could have actually had a few of them. But then they wanted me to do some other stuff, and I was like, I ain't doing that. So it just wasn't time, and it wasn't going to fit my schedule at the time. Or different things. It just wasn't time, y'all. So I said, okay, God, maybe I'm going about this wrong. All right, I just said, ooh, child, same here. So let me tell y'all. But I was willing to take whatever. Because I'm I I I don't, I don't I don't like depending on nobody but Jesus, okay? Don't tell me yet, cuz. My cuz told me not to tell y'all yet, so y'all get to marry and see, I was just about to tell y'all. But she said don't tell y'all yet, so. I can't tell y'all yet. Like, when you want me to tell them, Tay? They got to wait the next week. <laughs> she said, don't tell y'all yet. See, I was just about to tell y'all, but just know. No, ma'am. When, when you want me to tell them? See, she didn't stop y'all. Y'all get them hearts and thumbs up going up. Girl, if you don't sound like, if you don't say, I wasn't going to tell them the exact thing, okay? I wasn't going to tell them that part. I wasn't going to tell them the exact tensity of it. But if you don't sound like your auntie, Chris, when I tell you, you and your auntie, Chris, is twins, you and my mama, y'all twins, baby, to the full court. I, I believe, I believe, I believe you her child. And I believe I was Joanne, baby, and they swapped children. Mm hmm I believe they swapped children. <laughs> well, she said I can't tell y'all yet. But y'all will kind of figure it out next week. Y'all will figure it out. But then I'll I, I say that topic for another day. But just know that when it's time, God will move mountains for you and put you just where he wants you to be. God would definitely place you where he wants you to be. Okay, she told me not to tell y'all. Yeah, she said, I got to keep it to myself just a little bit longer. I can't tell y'all yet. I didn't know I wasn't going to tell y'all the exacticity of it. I was just going to tell y'all, hey, look. You know. But I wasn't going to tell y'all the detail details. You know. Not well. Or what. <laughs> 
Nah, we weren't going that deep into the news. <laughs> but just know, I got to get it in with y'all all week. Y'all going to see me. <laughs> y'all going to see me, but I'm, I'm, I'll be more... Everything will be more consistent. But great things are happening. That ain't all. It, it, well, you know what? I'm going to wait and save it all together because I'm going to say pop, 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 pop. Okay, I'm going to have several things to pop down in front of y'all and say, look, look, look. Look what I've been doing in the background. Pop. Look what God did. Pop. Look what God did. Pop. Hey, Candy Cody Bell. How you doing? Come on up in here, my babies, on this marvelous manifesting Monday, baby. Come on up in here and do what y'all do. Show all that love. Uh, Sheila, I don't even know. I have not seen my grandbaby in almost a month, nor talked to a baby. Not FaceTime, not nothing. So I couldn't tell you, honey. It's a spiritual warfare out here, and everybody ain't rooting for you. That's all. Get grounded in and let it. That's what I'm going to do. So I got to save y'all for the rest of it. It's some more that go to it. So I'm going to save it all together. Because there's several steps to that. And I'm going to save it. And she right. My mama already said that. So here come her little men and me behind her saying the same thing. So I'm, I'm going to be obedient. Because both of them have told me the same thing. Even though I wasn't going to go there, go there. I'm just going to say, hey, y'all, but y'all can pretty much put two and two together because I let some things slip, but I didn't tell y'all what and well. That part, but y'all know I got y'all because there's some wonderful other things coming, too. I'm so excited. Baby, y'all, we finna turn all the way up. Y'all, my mind been just with ideas, just, just things, content content been just like wow i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do this of what i'm going to bring you all baby it's gonna be so interesting y'all gonna be like oh i can't wait mm -hmm, we're gonna have a good time and i'm gonna wait and share the other part with y'all all together because there's several dynamics to that that how God just bust the doors wide mm -hmm. Just know if he did it for me, he could do it for you. When it's your turn and it's your season, enjoy everything and be grateful for it. Okay? Don't let nobody try to tell you um, nothing different or, or down your spirits or or pull your energy down. Go for it. Until you get it. You might get several no's. But don't you stop until you get a yes. That's the word for the day. You might get several no's. But don't you stop until you get a yes. That way that part and definitely in that order. Period y'all. Period. Y'all want my hearts and thumbs up set. I need to see them. Make them things flow, baby. We got to keep me in a little more rhythm. Y'all know I've been gone for a couple of days. There we go. Hey, run it up, run it up, run it up. Run it up, run it up, run it up. Woo! God is so good. He's always on time. And that's all I got to say today. He is definitely an on-time God. I ain't, got to, I ain't got to fake it to make it, period. I ain't got to put on no front. I just be real and be me. And it is what it is. It's going to be what it's going to be. And it's definitely going to do what it's going to do. God is good all the time. You got to keep that faith, your lamp, that faith at all times. Don't let nobody dampen your faith. I know I won't. I look at them like they're crazy because I know what God been to told me. I know what God got for me. Now, what you might have prayed for, what you might have thought was going to happen, that ain't because God got the last say so. And all power is in his hands. So true. You better know it. <laughs> but no, I ain't seen my grandbaby. But it's okay. Because it was some things I need to take care of and handle and take care of my business. 
baby, that's in God's hands too. Okay. I ain't worrying about it. I'm going to enjoy what that is for me to enjoy. And the rest, I let God have. See, I don't, that was, that would have been another di distraction. See, the enemy will try to come and attack you. But he know that you might be the weakest in. He will use that very thing that you love so much to try to attack you with. But baby, mm-mm, mm-mm. You're not going to distract me. I got things to do. Okay? Mm-mm. You're not going to pull on my spirit. Mm-mm. You're not going to have me feeling no type of way. Mm-mm. Because I know I ain't doing nothing wrong. And I know I'm a good, good, very great, awesome grandmother. And I know what's right and I know what's wrong. I ain't no hard feelings. Do what you need to do. That's when you and God, period. God got less say so on that. In the meantime, I'm going to do what I need to be doing so I can handle what I need to handle. And there we go. Life is great. Y'all, I got them grandsons and them nephews. They're going to probably have to be in camp because I'm going to be busy later. But I can't wait to spend time with them. I'm so excited about spending time with them. And y'all, I tell y'all about my daughters. Oh, I ain't, let me tell y'all. The one I told y'all that just came back from um Paris. This girl went and got her. She told me she was getting a new car, okay? She got a, a Jaguar truck, y'all. And it's so pretty. I'm so proud of her. She's always stepping up to stepping up uh in advance and she's always doing that. She always going hard for herself and her kids first and foremost. My other daughter, y'all gonna have a date with me because one and all I gotta figure out which day she finna do my hair, okay? I'ma take y'all with me so y'all get a chance to do it. But I, I don't talk about my boys enough either. I have some awesome boys too. Awesome young men. They are really out there doing the done thing. One of them is putting together a, um, an adult day. I will keep y'all informed on that. So if you're in Atlanta, y'all want to see me, I'll be there. Um, they work. One of them is a fireman. Um, they got jobs. They're taking care of their families. They are doing so, so good. And y'all, all these kids and stuff. It was because of my son that these children are in my life. Mm. Nothing but greatness. Nothing but goodness. That's how I met these babies. Through my son. He bought, y'all, I kept a house full of kids. All of these kids came through him. That's how I met these children. They're adults now. But these my babies from knowing my son. Hey, Charlene, ain't that some y'all? <laughs> so much good came from my son. When I get sad, I think about the good things and I think about all the love, he, extra love he brought into my life. All the people that needed somebody, he brought them right to his mama. My baby was working right with his mama on that mission. I never knew he was on the same mission as me. I don't know who mad and why y'all mad. I guess you just might have hit the wrong thing and it's okay. But that makes me feel good and that puts a big smile on my face. Mm -hmm. Just like his mama. Yeah. So when I get sad, I just think about 